Welcome back viewers to another video. This time I bought a so-called 350 watt solar panel from Outbacks Camping. I bought this because of the reason being 15% off. I picked it up for $135 and I thought I'd give it a go on the rooftop of my vehicle. It's 100 and, well, nearly 190 watts going in. Nothing's plugged in. Nothing's running. So that's almost 14 amps, so say 190 watt. It's a so-called 350 watts from Outbacks Camping. So I've got this, I'm gonna put this on the roof of the Gero. What I'm gonna do is take this shower off and I'm gonna just take these off and I'm gonna put that big panel up on the roof and try it and see how she goes. It's just something else I wanna try for when I deck out my camper van or when I went <laughs> by van. So realistically, when you see something on eBay, you can generally cut it in half. Yeah, it's, well, the highest I've seen this is 190 watt. Okay, you're gonna remove the shower. So I cut the cables, so I'll take it out. This thing's been great, guys, but we just don't use it. So yeah, I wasn't doing videos when I actually made this. You camp without showers. This is fantastic. These solar panels I put up on the vehicle have been great, but due to fault of my own, oh, I went to Bunnings one day and got some timber and I've actually knocked this. I'll see if I can fix it. I'll put a new panel up and that should make a difference in power. Just give me a bit more oomph in charge. That's where it attaches onto the panel there. I'd say I've broken a wire or something in there, but I will have a look and check it out. I'll pull it apart and I'll see if I can fix it. But anyway, they were good while I had them. It's just, you'll be careful with these. Yeah, I'm loading things on your roof rack. It doesn't help. You know, you go to Bunnings, get timber and boards and whatever. But anyway, lesson learned I guess right eh there's my basket she's empty now I can put my panel on okay viewers that's it I've installed the panel so there's that one I put the one of the panels behind it I was able to fit there this one's still okay so I've got two panels up there so I made a few brackets just to mount it down. Screwed it down to the, the metal on the rack. Same as on the other side. One's got a 10 amp fuse, which will be the other one. That's the 20, that's the big one. It's a 10 amp, that's the little panel. It's about 12.30. Truly, there's probably 240 watts here on the roof in solar. We will see now full sun, okay, lunchtime. There is nothing switched on, everything is switched off. 210. Okay, so I've seen the thing get to 210. And that's with the panels flat. So if I tilted them panels up, I would, yeah, you get a bit better. Okay, now I will plug in the King's Oh, it's good to know I can get 20 amps. That's with these two panels. Oh, I know I can get 20 amps with this. So that's that's pretty good. I love my eBay. It's it's a, like it's a religion for me. So yeah, people go to church. I I shop on eBay. So <laughs> these 350 so-called 350 watt panels are approximately you know say 175 to 190 watts. They will put out. It's performing very well. I think it's around $130 with a discount. That's delivered. That's not bad. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, take care, eh? Bye.